Greetings. In this video, I battle Sophia. I'm at chess.com uh, battling their bots. Um, and I'm trying to make my way through the, the masters. And uh, I have a really tough time with this Sophia. In this game, we are neck and neck. And I'm going to walk through it and show you um, the troubles that I had, the mistakes I made, the good things that happened. I did squeak out a wind. And I had trouble with all these masters. Um, because this is hitting about the top level of uh, what I can play. And um, I can tell you this win did not come easy. Um, I tried to play against her, I don't know, I think it's even been a couple years ago, and uh, couldn't win. Anyway, recently I played her, um, and I lost, I think it was three games and I kept rematching her. And finally, I think this was the fourth or fifth game I played against her and finally won. And when I play these games, I mean, it's like it takes me, you know, a Saturday afternoon with four hours of nothing on my schedule. You know, if you want to advance, that's what you have to do. If you're just going to play a quick 10 minute game, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know that a whole lot of advancement comes out of that. So anyway, let's get to it. Let's get to the game, and I want to show you uh, how it went. Um, okay. So you're going to see... I make some mistakes in the opening. Um, yeah, a lot of times... I think most of the time it's better to take uh, in the D file when this happens. Let's go back a step. I think it... And that way, it's um, it's a semi-open file. The, DI, the D file would be semi-open. And you have a major piece lined up on it. So you automatically own a semi-open file. I get it. Um, and there's a lot of times where I have future ideas of attacking this way. And so I kind of like that pawn there. Um, Usually that's frowned on, so the computer knows better than I do, I confess, but <laughs> of course. But um, in the opening, I look for any advantage, and uh, the computer is putting white up. Uh, Sophia played the white. I was the uh, black pieces here. Um, but I'm trying to mess up the pawn my opponent's pawn structure, and this is what I'm looking for, you know. Isolated and double stacked pawn um, on the king side. Um, however, however, my pawn structure isn't looking that great either. So, yeah, you know, like I said, we're pretty much neck and neck this whole game. And now this pawn becomes isolated. So I'm loving that. Uh, that was kind of my idea. Um, let's keep going because I want to try to make this a quick video. And I'm just doing some basic things to, I want to do a castle here. And um, a pawn's under attack. Um, so I like, you know, there's a dark squared bishop. I like putting my pieces on light squares, just knowing that that's out there. Just something to keep in mind. Um, you're going to see a bit of an exchange happen here, which... Um, has now screwed up my plans. I don't like this. As you see, Sophia and I are about neck and neck. The Richter scale is shaken up, and she is less than one point ahead um, on the Richter scale. Uh, Point-wise, we're even up. Um, computer says she has a better position than I do. Uh, I believe it. Uh, my king is exposed. Uh, so that did not work out like I wanted. Semi-open file here on the D again, and so I... Swing over to own it. Uh, if you see those opportunities, little things. L let me say that this is the big takeaway from this video. This is why I'm making this video that helps me and helps the audience, I hope, because that's my point to making these videos. When you're playing at this level, at least for me, okay, 2300 for me is very difficult bot. It's hard to beat these robots. And it's little wins. Every bag of trick that I know these bots already have mastered it beyond what I know. So you, from my perspective, I can only look for these little 
little victories. That's why I was so obsessed with getting, you know, messing up my opponent's pawn structure, things like this. Okay, that's what you watch for in this, uh, you know, or at least I do, okay? Um, so, um, that's why I, you know, I'm working hard to keep this pawn, and um, you're going to see some interesting things here. Hang with me. I, I know I'm trying to... I don't make the most exciting videos out there, I know, but hang with me and I'll show you some things that happen here. Um, and I liked this pawn being isolated and now it's back together. I, I hate that. Uh, I'm still, oops, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm still just, we're, we're nearly neck to neck, but uh, the tables turn here in just a minute. Okay, so I, I don't like all these pawns coming down, you know. I mean, I've only got two. Sophia has three. I feel like if I can get this queen side under control, I can get something going with these pawns that I've got out here. And I want, and during the end game, you want your king, all things being equal, to get out towards the center of the board. You got to, so many times people put the king and hide him away or something. He's got to get out there and work. And uh, that's the way it is. And so now um, I come up with the idea of simply, you know, look, I got a major piece under a pawn. Uh, you know, hell yeah, I'm going to promote that. And um, I was really expecting this. Um, and then I was going to have to swing over here with my king, like I said, get him to work and kill off these two pawn or at least kill off one and then just sit under the other and start promoting something over here. Um, that was how I thought it was going to go. To my surprise, she did not take. So I started to promote this. Um, I still, the computer, and I did not have this when I played. I, I had a triple crown. Okay, I always go for the triple crown. I did not have any of these aids when I played the game. I didn't think I was that far ahead, and I'll tell you why, because... These two marching pawns are hard to stop. Um, I'm st still not convinced. I knew I was ahead, but I didn't think I would, like a 4.4 on the Richter scale. I wouldn't have believed it when I was playing the game. <clears throat> Just because those marching pawns now are hard to stop. Now she's wanting to put her king to work, and I need to cut that off. And that's why I swung here, um, because... You see the um, the uh, problem that she has is I own all these squares with these three pawns here. Um, so anyway, so now I know I'm like, well, even if I can, uh, these marching pawn, so if I can kill off these marching pawn, then I know I've got it. And, um, you know, this happens. The king is cut off. So now I'm... You know, this pawn protects this, okay, this rook. So now I'm free to promote, and that's what I do. And I'm just like, you know, I'm just going to, I'm just going to promote at this point. Um, and uh, um, that was actually a slip. I actually meant to come here. Um, so and then now I just stair step up to a victory. So, um this was not an easy win for me. Um, this Sophia bot, uh, when I play at this level, when I play these robots that are around 2,300, I usually reserve uh, a few hours on my Saturday or Sunday to play these bots. Um, I'll stare at the board. Maybe if I'm really jammed, I'll stop, go have lunch, Think about the position, come back. And I'll tell you what, doing stuff like that will improve your game more than playing 10, 10 minute games. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, I hope this helps you. I really struggled with this spot. I don't look forward to um, challenging her again anytime soon. Frankly, I'm glad to move past her. I thought she was very, very, very difficult. Thanks for watching.